This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hi friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I love to crochet plushies. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. For today's video, it will be another week of crochet. I will take you guys along my journey throughout this week, show you all of the fun plushies that I've made. We'll chit chat, we'll do some unboxing, all that good stuff. Also, I wanted to give a really quick shout out and say thank you so, so much for 29K. We are almost at 30 and I seriously can't believe how far this channel has grown in such a short amount of time and I love reading all of the comments. I still try to reply to all of the comments to this day. There are so many of you commenting, so many of you liking, watching, subscribing, and I just want to say thank you so, so much. I love making all of these videos and I can't wait to see the future of this channel. But okay, with that, let's jump into today's video. So I don't know about you guys, but I've been seeing this one plushie that has been like flooding my Instagram feed and it is of this like really cute like chubby chicken and let me show you guys i went ahead and purchased the pattern it is by oak and marlowe and it literally looks like this it's like the really cute little chubby chickens and if you're on instagram and in the crochet community i bet you have seen it and it's just so cute like look at that little chicken so i finally went ahead bought the pattern and i made it so let me go show you guys look at it this is my little chicken she's so cute this pattern literally took me like what 10 to 15 minutes to make it is so straightforward very minimal sewing like you just have to like sew on basically the little frill up here and look at this chicken people have been making it with um that like speckled black and white yarn i need to get my hands on it but for this project i actually used bernat baby blanket and if you know me I don't really use Bernat baby blanket just because I feel like it has friction when I crochet like I feel like it's pretty tough but they actually have revised the yarn and if you buy like the newer skeins of the baby blanket it actually is much softer than what it used to be so this is actually um a brand new skein that i got from them this like toffee color and it was actually really really smooth for me to crochet with so maybe i'll go ahead and buy more yarn and try out baby blanket once again so yeah I will definitely be making more of these chickens. They are too adorable and I want just like a chicken army. I can picture it now. I'll just like have a bunch of chickens on my market display and they're all just gonna be like chilling and it's gonna be really cute. Also another side note, I find myself buying more and more patterns and I keep saying to myself like, oh, I'm gonna sell these at my market. I'm gonna sell these at my market, blah, 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 blah. And in reality, I already have a market plan and I haven't even started market prepping. So I don't know why I just toss that saying out like, yeah, I'll have it at my market like Jenna. Will you have it at your market? Because honestly, I don't know. Maybe I'll have it at my market. I hope so because I really want a chicken army. Like, look at that. Look at that little face. Okay, I have to show you guys something really cute. So I got this storage bin and as you can see, there's something behind it. So let me go ahead and open up the door. Oh my gosh, what do we have here? So many chickens. I literally just made all of these last night. I am obsessed with this pattern. How freaking cute are they in their little, like, bin? I feel like they're all just attending their own little private house party. Like, this is just so freaking cute. I feel like there should be, like, a disco ball hanging from the ceiling and all of them just hanging out in their little, their little coop. I also wanted to show you guys that I made another cute chicken. This time I used Hobie's Honey Bunny candy yarn so it has like these fun little colorful specks into it and how cute is she i think it'll be really cute with all of the other like regular chickens and this reminds me so when i was visiting my sister down in raleigh and helping her move in and everything we actually went to a farmer's market one day and i saw there was a crochet booth so i immediately went over because you know crochet and i actually saw the lady selling chickens just like this and i was like immediately drawn to them so that's how I knew I was like okay mental note I need to make chickens for my market as well just because they look so cute when you approach the booth and just see like all the chickens but anyway when I went over to the booth she like immediately recognized me and she's like hey I know you you're Jenna and I was like 
like it was crazy I couldn't believe she actually knew who I was and then we were chatting I bought a chicken from her and I met her daughter so I'll link her and her daughter's Instagram page down below definitely go check them out also we took a really cute picture together and like look how beautiful her market display was literally goals but yeah I'll insert a picture here it was so much fun meeting like a fellow crocheter in real life and also just like seeing how she set up her market. I definitely got some inspiration from her. So Celine, if you're watching, I am making chickens because I was inspired by you. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and put the chicken with the other chickens and look how cute, oh my gosh. It just cracks me up seeing them all together like this in their little coop. My rainbow catcher is working, look at it. It makes my studio look so cute and pretty. Good morning. I just have to show you guys how massive this turtle is. Literally look at her. Oh my gosh, she's literally gorgeous. I'm literally standing on my tippy toes so I can show you guys like the entire thing, but literally look at her. <laughs> she's so amazing. I am in love with her. And her shell is gorgeous, like that classic sunflower shell. I love it. I'm jealous of the customer who gets to take her home. And my customer requested this beautiful toffee color for the body. And I am obsessed with how she turned out. Look how massive she is on my desk. I came on because I wanted to show you guys a really cute baby eagle that I just made. And I'm really happy with how it turned out because I kind of just freehanded it. And let me show you. <laughs> Look how precious this little baby eagle is. I cannot and like look at his little head I gave him some floof on the top so he looks like a little baby isn't he so cute maybe I will come out with a pattern for him but he is basically no sew I just had to sew on the top little frill but yeah I think he is adorable and I kind of want to make more but yeah he is so adorable and I just had to show you guys a customer actually requested like a baby eagle and I was just like, whoa, I've never gotten that request before. So I kind of challenged myself to freehand it and I love how he turned out. Thought I would give an update on Shay. I don't know why the lighting is so dark, but as you can see, she loves the hammock and she loves to freaking bite it. Baby, what are you doing? She's crazy. So I had a customer hit me up and they wanted one of these mini penguins but in the classic colors and I actually didn't make any of the classic colored penguins yet so I have the blue and the purple that I made previously and then this little guy who I just made today oh my goodness oh my gosh sorry my hand is so shaky I am having coffee but look look at this little precious baby ah I love these little penguins. They are so cute and they are no so guys. I'll link the pattern down below, but it's by me. I just had to show you guys front facing too, just like how adorable is this little baby. And like, I love having them all together. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Penguin army. I have to look up um, what it's called when penguins are together. Cause I don't know actually, you know how there's like names for animals in a pack or am i just making that up i'm pretty sure there is a name for that <laughs> but yeah also fun little backstory on this guy so this is for a customer like i told you guys but she wants him to have a little hard hat on and a little safety vest because this is actually for her husband and i think that's just so adorable so i am now going to attempt to put a vest on this little guy and a hard hat I grabbed some orange acrylic yarn. This is just from Michaels. I think I'm gonna start creating the vest by just chaining and half double crocheting and just like leave little gaps for the little arms. But yeah, I'm honestly just winging it. Haha, <laughs> winging it. <laughs> Cause we're working with a penguin. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys how it turns out. I hope it turns out cute. All right guys, so I just finished the vest and I didn't actually try it on the penguin yet. So you guys will get to see whether or not I succeeded in freehanding this vest, but it literally is just, I think I did chain, I chained eight. So then I ended up with seven stitches for each row and I just half double crocheted and then I left two little armholes 
at the front and the back so then when you fold it inward like this it's a little vest and don't mind the tails I still have to weave them in but let's see if it fits this little guy let's put it on the little fins are made with half double crochet or no it's made with double crochet and triple crochet so they're not really that you know long so i'm like literally trying to like put the fin in hopefully this works ah okay we got one little fin in oh my gosh that's so adorable and let me get the second one in i don't want to hurt i don't want to hurt the penguin my husband always makes fun of me because whenever i ship out um the plushies that i've made for people i'm always like don't hurt them like be gentle and he's like jenna like they're plushies they're meant to be squished and i'm like i know but i just don't want them to get hurt <laughs> okay so i think i so here it is i don't know how i feel about it so it fits him but it just looks kind of like a life jacket versus like a safety vest maybe when i put on the hard hat the whole, you know, image will come together. Okay guys, I finished the hard hat and I'll let you guys be the judge, but I personally think the penguin looks great and you can tell that the vest is kind of like a work vest and not a life jacket, but let me show you guys. Look at him! Look at his little hard hat <laughs> and his little safety vest. I love it. That was really fun. I actually always enjoy making clothing for plushies. I don't get the request a lot, but when I do, I definitely get to be very creative and it's really fun. I cannot wait to give this guy to my customer. So a lot of you liked my cake turtle that I showed you um, in a different video, but I got to remake it for another customer with a lavender body this time because before I had it with a green body. I'll insert a picture here. So I really liked making it in a different color. Here it is, look how cute she is. So the body, like the cake portion is still like a rainbow color, but then her main body color is that beautiful lavender and I think it looks so good. Good. So freaking cute. I love the little cake shell and the little whipped cream and the candle I think is my favorite part of the entire turtle. I hope you're not sick of me talking about these sunflower turtles, but I wanted to show you a special one that I made because look! She has a little ladybug friend. My customer requested to have a little ladybug on the shell and literally look how adorable that is. Like what? Hug check! <laughs> it is literally too cute. And I love the sage green body and oh, look at that shell and the little ladybug friend. So yeah, I just had to show you guys. Rare moment that Shay is actually cuddling with Callie. Look at that. They're sharing a bed together. Oh my gosh, so cute. Just wanted to take a quick break from the video to talk about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Squarespace makes it easy to create beautiful websites, engage with your audience, and sell anything online all in one place. I am personally in the process of creating my own website on Squarespace and it's been super easy for me to design my own website without any coding background. Squarespace offers thousands of professional website templates for you to choose from and they use a drag and drop system so it makes it easy for you to customize customize it to your very needs. The most important feature that they offer for me is their online shop option. You can directly set up an online store on your website and can list either physical or digital products. And if you want to sell your products in person, you can get a square reader from Squarespace and that will allow you to take sales in person and it will sync directly to your website. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash crochet by Jenna to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to the crochet. Good morning friends. So I came on because I just got done designing a new pattern for my patrons because every month I give out two free patterns for my patrons in the yarn club tier and for my other patrons in a different tier they get one free pattern every month. 
So shout out to them if you're a patron, thank you so much. But okay, so for this month's free pattern, I decided to do a no so axolotl pattern. Like literally look at these babies, aren't they so cute? I definitely had an axolotl on my list for market prep and I was like looking at the pattern and like, I don't know, I just like envisioned something else in terms of like how I wanted the axolotl to look. So then I'm like, okay, let me just try and make my own. So with my pattern, I wanted the, like the axolotl head to be more pronounced. I know there's some other patterns out there that have it all as like one like cylindrical tube basically, but I wanted like the head to be more pronounced. So like with mine, you can see how there's like a little divot here. So you can see the head is like pretty round. Also, a lot of the other axolotl patterns are like no sew, but you have to go back and like change these gills in separately so for my pattern I wanted it to just be all one continuous process so these gills are actually part of the round and you just like crochet them directly into the round itself you don't have to like go back and crochet them in and then yeah I actually came up with two different designs so for this one this was my first try I have the bobble stitches at the bottom here to signify like the arms and legs so it looks like this from the side and like this from the bottom but then i was like oh maybe i kind of want the legs to be like sticking outwards so then i came up with this little guy so this is what he looks like at the top and this is what he looks like from the bottom and as you can see the bobble stitches are to the side so yeah i mean they both are pretty similar i think ultimately though i'm gonna stick with this one with the bobble stitches on the bottom just because i think it's like more cute but yeah i mean they're pretty much the same and then I went ahead and added this little tail decal um, this is actually not part of the process I know I just said about the gills so this one you actually have to go back and crochet it in afterwards but super super simple and I think it does add a little cute detail I said it was optional though in the pattern so if you don't feel like doing it you don't have to but yeah these are the cute little axolotls. I am going to make a few more color combinations and then sell these at my market. I also tried to design my second free pattern and originally I wanted to do a no sew pug pattern. And as you can see, this is my failed attempt. I don't know, it's giving off like hamster vibes instead of pug vibes. So this was my first failed attempt. Then I was like, okay, it kind of looks like a hamster. Why don't I make it into like a capybara? So then this is my attempt at a capybara. And, ooh, and again, I don't know. It's not giving off cappy vibes. It's giving off like hamster vibes again. So like maybe I should just make it a hamster pattern. But I think like this head is like unproportionally big and then the body is too small. So I need to like expand the body out a few more rounds so yeah pattern designing is not a linear path for sure there's a lot of trial and error there's a lot of failed patterns and yeah i just wanted to show you guys my failed attempts i still plan on making a capybara pattern though for my patrons this month so i'm going to try and revise this little guy all right friends so future jenna is here and remember the failed attempt at my capybara this kind of gives off hamster vibes like I was saying earlier. Well, I redesigned and I did a lot more trial and error. And this is the final version of my No So Capybara that I came up with. And look how cute it is. I added like its own little hand sewn mouth, nose, and the eyes. So it looks like it's kind of sleeping. And yeah, so I changed a few things. So for the head, you can see the original one kind of didn't have any divot to signify the head and the body. Whereas with the new design, I did some decreases. So it kind of shows you that the head is ending here and the body's starting. And it's very slight, but it does make a big difference. And then the other big thing that I changed was with the original design, the body itself was pretty short. Like I think there was only like two rounds between each of the arms and legs whereas my updated design I added in a bunch more um, rounds of just the body to make it a little longer so yeah there we go so now this little capybara is done it makes such a cute little desk friend and I want to make a really small one to put in keychain form 
but yeah i hope you guys like the new pattern design it is out now on my etsy and if you want to join my patreon you will get this pattern for free i also get some messages from you guys asking like what is a patreon do i get access to all of the previous patterns so the answer is yes when you join my patreon for whatever tier you join you get all of the previous months perks so for example if you join this month in august you'll also have access to all of the free patterns that i released in july june may etc and then you can cancel your membership at any time so if you can only join for a month and then cancel that's totally fine no pressure at all but basically patreon is a monthly subscription service where you can support your favorite artist creator and depending on how much money you pledge each month you will get access to certain monthly benefits so in my case i offer a few different tiers one tier gets one free pattern every month another tier gets two free patterns every month and the lowest tier starts at two dollars so again no pressure to join but i just wanted to clear some of that up for you guys i got some new yarn from premiere and i wanted to show you guys because i specifically picked out new colors that i haven't tried yet and all of this yarn is Premier Parfait Chunky. And if you want 10% off your first order, I have a discount code down below if you want to use my referral link. So the first color is Peacock, and it is super pretty. This is like a bluish green almost. Then I got this blue, and this is the color Cornflower. I needed like a darker blue. I want to make some blueberry stuff with this yarn. And then I got this like orangey salmon color and this is the color coral. Really, really pretty. I feel like this would be good for summer plushies. And I know I'm a little late, but we still have August left. And then I got this orangey red yarn and this is the color mango. I thought this would be good for like pumpkins and Halloween coming up. And then I got this light blue called pale blue. And I thought this would be a good contrast with that darker blue I got. And then I also just got some more um, cotton candy because I can never have too much of this light pink color. I totally forgot to mention it the other day when I was showing you guys what yarn I got from Premiere, like the new colors. And look how gorgeous this color is. This is hibiscus and I got a few skeins of it and it reminds me of like the hot pink that I usually use for my strawberry turtle, but it's just like more of a like fuchsia pink and I can't wait to use this. So one of my viewers who watches my YouTube channel reached out to me and she wanted me to make her a very special sunflower turtle with a very special color that she picked out. So I'm going to show you guys the end result. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous sunflower turtle with the hibiscus body color. Oh my gosh, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of pink lemonade because we have the pink and the yellow and yeah, I'm calling this the pink lemonade turtle. But how gorgeous is she? And she is my regular size sunflower turtle. So she is a little small, but not too small. Honestly, the perfect size and like hug check. <laughs> She's so cute. I'm so excited to send her off to her forever home. And thank you so much, Melissa, for letting me make you a very special sunflower turtle. So I just got done another custom turtle and wait till you guys see this. I've never made a turtle like this before. It's a baby kiwi turtle. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Look at her. Look at this sweet baby. I designed the little shell myself. Um, I had so much fun doing this turtle. It's definitely a challenge when customers reach out to me and are like, can you do this design? And I'm like, I can try my best. But yeah, I love how she turned out. So adorable. I really love like that light green color with the brown. It's such a great contrast. And then the body color is this like really pretty beige. Yeah, super cute. I'm super happy to send off this little baby to its forever home.
All right, I think I will call the video here. There is quite a lot of footage and I actually want to save some of it for my market prep video that's coming up and another, you know, crochet with me week of crochet vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the fun and cute plushies that I've made. I hope you got some inspo. Don't forget to tag me in all of your creations if you use some of my patterns or even try to just recreate some of the things that I made in this video. I love seeing your guys work on insta and yeah i hope everyone has a great rest of their day and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye